Hello guys, what is up? It is Spooky Noodles, your boy, and uh, I am back with another book review. Today, we review Hate Inexorable by Mike Duke. So, as you can see, I have a copy of this. I listened to the audiobook, though, but I do have a copy. And it's signed! Signed by Mike Duke himself. He says, I hope, basically he says, I hope this one hits you in the gut or something like that. Uh, I'm not going to read it because I can't flip the book around and do all that stuff. But, um, yeah. Uh, so I'm going to read the synopsis, which I have on the computer. I don't know why I'm not reading it from the book. But, uh, yeah. So here we go. I'm going to read the uh, synopsis. Then we will delve into it a little bit. Well, I'll, I will read my review as well. So, yeah. And then we'll delve into it a little bit. So here we go. Uh... Memorial Day. Sunny, bright, warm, perfect weather. Kendall and a former Navy SEAL, his wife Crystal, and their toddler son Matthew arrive early at the beach to beat the holiday crowd and enjoy some quality family time. It's a perfect day until it's not. Until fateful events unfold. Hate finds this happy biracial couple and pursues them with unrelenting tenacity. Kendall and Crystal find themselves in a fight for their lives, desperate to protect their child. A husband trained to fight who will do whatever it takes. A mama bear who won't go quietly into the night no matter how hard hate rages to take their lives. Today, on this day, we honor sacrifices made. Hate comes. Hate has come out to play, and the stakes are life and death. So yeah, um, hopefully I didn't look too goofy reading that. Um, <laughs> this already has a really high rating. Uh, it has sixty nine, uh, sixty nine ratings with thirty five reviews, and it has a four point three six rating. That's pretty good. So. I'm going to read you my review here, uh, and then we will delve into it a little bit. So here we go. It's a really short review, by the way, because your boy was not with it when he wrote it. And yeah, so forgive me if there's spelling errors or something like that in it. But here we go. I like this novella a lot. Mike Duke did a fantastic job with this one, and it was definitely a sensitive topic. This leaned on the extreme side of things where the other book I read by him was more of a cosmic horror type story. I I like Fear the Gods just a little better or a little more than this one, but that doesn't take anything away from the hate from a hate inexorable. This was a fast paced tale about hate, and Duke did a great job at making me feel for people I don't even really know. So kudos to Duke for that. That's what all I really have to say about this book. I gave it four stars and enjoyed it a lot. So, yeah. Um, yeah, that's my review. Uh, there were moments where in the beginning where I was like, uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to like this book. But it really geared up and became something really good. And I apologize for the zit on my lip. I don't know what to do about it. But, um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, that was random. Uh, yeah, this book was fantastic. Um, I have it right here so I can show it off. I have mine signed, so uh, hopefully YouTube doesn't flag this video for the Nazi insignia. But uh, yeah, uh, I'm looking very forward to uh, reading more of Mike Duke. I've read Fear of the Gods, Crawl, and Hate Inexorable. So, uh, yeah, I'm really digging his work so far. Uh, it's really good stuff. And, yeah, this one had some brutal scenes in it. It's definitely extreme horror. Um, and I really enjoyed it a lot. Um, you don't see that kind of brutality much anymore in books. Uh, well, unless you look for it. Um, but, yeah, this is really, really a good book. Uh. I think Mike Duke might come from, like, a police background or something like that. Because there was some really believable scenes with policemen. Um, so, I think I, I, if I could be... My memory is horrible, but there was somebody I knew that was an author who was also, once upon a time, a police officer. And I don't know if that was Mike Duke or not. 
If I'm wrong, I apologize. But there was just some really be believable scenes with policemen doing like radio and stuff like that. And it just sound, it just felt really believable. So kudos to Mike Duke for that as well. Um, but yeah, this is going to be a very short review, as you could tell by the timestamp of this video. Or not timestamp, but you know what I mean. Um, I gave it four stars. Really good book. Um, I was leaning towards four and a half to five. But there was some scenes in the beginning of the book where I wasn't really too sure that I was going to like it. But then it really kicked gears. And it was... Uh, it was fantastic. It was a really fantastic book. So yeah, so that is my review. Sorry about that. My phone died before I could say anything else. But uh, yeah, it, it really kicked into gear and it was really good. So uh, yeah, I really enjoyed this book a lot. Four stars. It was really, really good. I liked it a lot. Um, I'm not sure what I gave Fear of the Gods, but I like Fear of the Gods. Fear of the Gods fear of gods I, I remember what it was called fear of the gods i like that one a little bit more but uh it was this one was really good and uh i really enjoyed it a lot so yeah tell me guys what you thought of this book if you read it and uh tell me what you think of mike duke um this is my third mike duke book and i've really enjoyed it so he's he's basically three for three for me um i did like crawl i think i gave three stars um Excuse me. But, um, yeah, I, I really enjoyed Hate Inexorable and Fear of the Gods a lot. So, and I think it shows. So, <laughs> yeah, um, and that's all we're going to talk about today. I hope you guys are enjoying my videos lately. Um, I was able to take a really cool thumbnail for this video. I took a picture of my book laying next to uh, Lula, who was asleep at the time. And, uh, yeah, I made a really cool video. So, yeah, um, that's all I really have to say for today. Um, uh, yeah, um, I don't know what I'm going to read next. I know I have a Brian Boyer and a Rob Shepard book I need to read, but I also promised, like, Mike Thorne that I'd read his book as soon as possible. Then I promised another person that I'm going to read their book as soon as possible. So I'm getting into this problematic stage where I'm like, Man, I just want to read something I want to read. But at the same time, I have all these, like, you know, books that I promised I would read. <laughs> so, and 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 in the end, I'm a mood reader. So I just pick up whatever I want to read next, you know. Um, but I am going to make an effort to stick to the TBR. At the same time, I'm going to implement some things that I promised I would read. So, you know, I'm not saying I don't want to read all these books that I'm, you know uh that i have to read but uh um yeah I, I don't know what else to say uh yeah i'm not feeling so hot today um i found a swollen lymph node on my back and um i'm kind of worried about that because last time i found a lymph node about the same size it turned out to be cancer and just like last time everyone's telling me just to wait and wait for it to leave or go away and uh that scares me because that's what i did last time and then it was stage 3b cancer so you know i'm just a little worried about that at the moment um writing is going pretty well i've been more like editing and formatting a lot lately so yeah um that's all i have to say for today i hope you guys enjoyed the review um like and comment on the video if you can subscribe if you want um this is spooky noodles and i'm out so peace out guys oh i didn't even say my outro uh i hope you guys are having a great day i hope you have a spooky night and i'll catch you in the next video peace out guys